Um, so as Paul mentioned, there's going to be a few of us sharing like 10 minute preaches over the next three weeks, uh, weeks, weeks. Uh, and I am super excited to be kicking us off because that means I don't have to worry for the next three weeks about uh, <laughs> sitting there panicking or anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, the, they asked us to talk about someone in the Bible that um, inspired us or somebody that we might want to talk about. Um, and the person that came to mind for me wasn't particularly someone that you'd think of straight away. Um, I chose this person because I heard a message about her um, at a conference I went to once and I thought, wow, she's incredibly inspiring. Um, there's not much about her in the Bible. She's only mentioned in three of the Gospels. Um, she's that unpopular that she doesn't even have a name, sadly. Um, she's not named in the Bible, but I still think that she has an incredible story to tell. Um, and I'm going to start by reading to you from Mark 5, 25 to 34, which says this. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his cloak, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body <laughs> that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciple answered, and yet you ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet, and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. And I could get off stage now because I think that verse is enough and it speaks for itself because I think it just shows the massive faith that this woman has, but it also shows the amount of love that Jesus has for us as well. Um, so just for a bit of context for you about this lady, um, in biblical times, a woman that was bleeding would be classed as unclean and she wasn't really welcome in society at that time of her month. <laughs> um, she would be told, you need to stay, uh, stay away from us for a bit because you're not clean at the moment. Um, and so, as the verse says, she bled for 12 years. So that's a lot of time in isolation. That's a long time to be told, you're unworthy, you're unclean, you can't come out and be around us. That's a long time for doctors to be telling you, you will, you will never be healed, we can't do anything for you. That's a lot of rejection for this lady. And I just think it's incredible how she goes from such a hopeless situation to being such a faithful woman. Because this woman hears about some random guy that's going to be passing in the street. And she thinks, uh, he doesn't even need to talk to me. He doesn't need to give me any medication. If I just poke him, <laughs> if I just tug on his little garment, then I'll be healed. Yeah. And I think that's incredible. Because yeah. personally, I think if I had been sick for 12 years... And no doctor, the best doctors in the whole town had uh, treated me and said, you're not going to be healed. I don't think <laughs> that I would have much hope <laughs> of walking into the street, hearing about a man and thinking, I can just poke him and all will be well again. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's pretty incredible um, how faithful she is. And I would love to have a faith like this lady. Um, so next, I want to read to you from Mark 5, 30 to 33, which is a little part from the same scripture I just read to you. And it says, at once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered. And yet you can ask, who touched me? So as we see there, after touching Jesus' cloak, this lady was absolutely terrified and I personally think that's because she's dealt with so much rejection and so much hatred from the people around her for so long that she probably thought Jesus might give her the same reaction. I think she was ashamed and embarrassed about her problem because she's been told that she should be by those around her. And I just wanted to ask you this morning if you've ever felt rejected or shamed by society or those around you. And I want to read to you now from... Mark 5 to 34 to see how Jesus reacts to this lady and he says daughter your faith has healed you go in peace and be freed from your suffering and as it says she was trembling I doubt that that's what she was expecting to hear from Jesus but I believe that this story is testament to how Jesus really reacts to us when we come to him with our uncleanliness and our guilt and our shame 
I believe that Jesus doesn't look at us the way that everyone around us looks at us. He looks at us with so much love in his eyes. And if you guys didn't notice, (laughs) the disciples are like, what do you mean? Who touched you? (laughs) You're in a crowd of like hundreds of people that are trampling on you because they're all desperate to see you. And you're asking who touched you? How are we supposed to know that? Um, And I don't think that Jesus didn't know who touched him. I think that Jesus was well aware of who had touched him. Um, I believe that we are in a crowd of 7 billion people on this earth. And sometimes you can think, there's no way Jesus hears me. There's no way he sees me. But I believe that when we just touch Jesus, that when we just call out to him, that he looks at us in this crowd of seven billion. (laughs) He looks at us in this crowd of seven billion people. He doesn't look at you the way that your family members have looked at you. He doesn't look at you the way that people at school looked at you. He doesn't look at you the way that you look at yourself. He doesn't look at you in any way with with shame. He doesn't look at you and think I'm embarrassed of you. He looks at you directly in your eyes. And he he doesn't just call her, you're the woman with the issue of blood, I don't want to talk to you. He looks at her. And he gives her something even more personal than her own name. He calls her his own. He calls her daughter. He claims her as his own child. He looks her in the eyes and he says, daughter, you have healed you. He gives this woman a gift better than a name. I believe that this woman, that's why I think she is unnamed in the Bible, because I think that what she gets from Jesus is even better. She gets to be his daughter. And he calls her his daughter. He calls her his daughter in front of everybody that's ever been mean to her. And that's what Jesus does to you too. If you feel like you're surrounded by people that might be ashamed of you, if you feel lost in this world, just know that you can, you can just touch Jesus. You can just call out his name. He will look at you in your eyes and he will call you his own and he will accept you immediately. So this lady went from being unnamed to named. I believe that this woman went in a journey within a few minutes of being unclean to worthy. She was in society and she was told for so many years that she was unclean. She probably believed it herself at that point, even though it wasn't her fault. She now knew that even if everybody else still was horrible to her, still didn't want her in their community, that it didn't matter (laughs) Because she was accepted by Jesus and that's all that ever does matter. So this morning, if you feel like you're on your own, you feel like you're unaccepted, which by the way, you're not in this church, (laughs) then don't anymore. (laughs) Because Jesus gives us freedom, he gives us love, and he will always, always, always accept you no matter what. And that's all I have to say this morning. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) 